This is the Late Round Podcast with your host, JJ Zacharisa. JJ Zacharisa. Sell Aaron Jones. Now, on the opposite side of the yards to touchdowns conversion is Aaron Jones. He now has nine touchdowns this year, but his rushing and receiving yards tell us that that number should be closer to four. That's the largest gap of has versus should have touchdowns in the NFL. And yes, context is always needed with this type of analysis. Don't think that I'm looking at this stuff blindly. Aaron Jones has seen the second most goal line attempts in the NFL this year, and he's in a pretty good offense. So scoring opportunities are going to be better in somewhere like Green Bay than in Jacksonville. But of the nine goal line rushes that Aaron Jones has, he saw six of the nine, nice, in two games without Jamal Williams. The first was against Philadelphia, where Williams was concussed at the beginning of the contest, and the second was against Dallas, where Aaron Jones had a career day. And unsurprisingly, in those two games without Jamal Williams, Aaron Jones saw his highest snap share of the season. When Jamal Williams has been active this year, Jones hasn't hit a 60% snap share. With Jamal Williams, Aaron Jones has seen about 60% of Green Bay's running back touches. Without him, it's 82%. So all this being said, with Jamal Williams active and in the lineup, we shouldn't expect Aaron Jones to continue to keep up this pace. We can't expect Aaron Jones to be a top five running back from here on out. Even though I love him as a talent, even though I think he's the best running back in that Green Bay backfield, I think you can sell him.